Hello readers, I'm Fiona McIntosh and this is The Lavender Keeper which is my new book coming out from Penguin. I'm thrilled that it's actually releasing across Australia and New Zealand first before it heads off overseas and goes into foreign translation. <laughs> Lavender Keeper, and I'm wondering what lavender means to you. To me, it evokes the image of, um, well, apart from the obvious, of fragrance. It evokes a very romantic sense. And I would be lying to you if I didn't say that this is a very romantic story at its heart. But that's mainly because of its setting. Um, it's set in occupied France during the war. And there is something about a wartime story um, where people are more heroic. Um, they lived harder, they played harder, which makes it that much more romantic. But within these pages is a great big, um, you know, family drama that's unfolding, but essentially it's an action adventure. Uh, the war itself lends so much conflict and tension that, um, you know, you can't, you can't just hope that it will just be a soft story. It just can't be like that. I'm going to take you to Bomblitz, London. I'm going to take you running through the, um, the sort of alpine region of Provence where the lavender grows. But essentially I'm going to keep you in occupied Paris um, where swastikas were flying, where the stomp of the German boot was around every corner and where people were starving essentially. Um, Paris wasn't being bombed but Paris was suffering and that's where my three characters come together that we're going to focus on. You're going to meet a British spy, you're going to meet a German colonel, and you're going to meet a French resistance fighter. I had a lot of fun writing this. I, I had to do a lot of research for it. It required me to do loads of reading, loads of documentary watching, um, I've, I've loads of travel. I've covered a lot of ground to bring you this story. Um, I'm proud of it. I was going to suggest that uh, you know, maybe you take a look at my blog, which is running on my website, if you're interested in how a book of this, uh, of this nature comes together. I cover off everything from tr trying to find the right um, locations in Paris to Holocaust stories to, um, you know, how, how I learnt about British spy network you know, how the War Ministry in London put together their clandestine activities. It was very um, interesting to go back over that ground and write those stories, so I hope you enjoy it. Please do visit. Um, and the one other thing I was going to suggest was maybe uh, this would make a good Easter gift instead of buying a chocolate egg for friends and rallies, but I'm a chocolate ho chocoholic, so um, I say give your eggs and maybe earmark this for Mother's Day, which is coming up, or you know, birthdays, but uh, you really don't need a special occasion to enjoy a great book. Thanks for giving this one a go.